Look what we have here. Two brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I guess that's a proper name. 512 gigabytes. These were provided from 20 Mobile. Patrick over there mm. in Hong Kong sent it over to us. Want to give a quick shout out to him. Thank you so much for yeah. providing these phones. Their website is great. They're giving a discount, Hero 50. You can get $50 off on their website. And also they have an Instagram account. You can follow them there. I want to say that Patrick reached out to us sometime then of October. As as if we wanted a couple of iPhones we can use for the channel. We said, hey, you know, why not? And right when the phones were released, I think people got most of these phones on a Friday. We got it the following Monday, so the surface is tremendous. You know, here, let's open it up. Open up. You are gonna sure. become an Apple guy now. From Samsung to Apple. Wow. Oh, listen to that. Oh. So satisfied. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Oh, easy to take off this one. Oh. Whoa. Look at this thing. Beautiful. So nice. So many people talked about this phone. Said it's one of the best phones ever that Apple's created, especially the new video camera on this thing. This color. Yeah, it's beautiful. a blue stainless steel, right? Very beautiful. And this is our launch color, so. <sighs> Patrick, thank you so much. We hope we can uh, do some good work with this. Really appreciate you supporting the channel. Now enjoy the video. Are you here? Yeah. Rocky Top Mountain Coaster. Rocky Mountain Challenge. Coaster. Challenge. Yeah, because we got something you're going to make later on with the I video. I have to eat the sushi in the here. No, no, no. We're going to make some delicious sushi later. All right. With Rocky Mountain something. Okay. Thanks so much to my friend yeah. Blair. This is his place. Thank you, Blair, for uh, setting this up. All right, here. Good luck. Okay, let's go. Nine and a half minutes. Nine and a half minutes? Yeah, so you're going to go through all... Give him the five-minute version. <laughs> <laughs> He'll like it. He, he likes speed. All right. Okay, now push forward all the way. Okay. That's how you go. Now pull back. That's okay. how you slow. Okay. You don't want it slow, Hero. Just go yeah, all the way there. All the way down. All the way. Just all right. remember, it's automatic up. And at the top, when you see that big sign, get ready, push forward. That's okay. when you push down oh, and hold okay. down to go. Okay. Right. Perfect. Thumbs up. You got it. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. Have fun. He's ready. Now you can let go. All right. Here we go. Keep it down the whole time. We want full force. Especially when you come back around the last part. Last part. Yeah, keep it down so you feel the G-forces, okay? And there he goes. Here, son, we are back from yes. the Rocky Top Mountain Coaster. How'd you like that ride, Hero? It was great. It was great. It right. was a little bit scared at the first moment, but after that, very interesting to ride. You're right, right. Yeah, it was great. 
I want to thank again my friend Blair, who owns that place. He's actually mm. from Miami. We've known each other for close to 20 years. Mm. And uh, anyway, now we're back here, and look at what we have. To do it justice here, we have some... So we have a... Cajones. Yep. These are called Wrecking Mountain Oysters. There's other words. One's called Swingin' Beef. One's called Dustin Nuts. Another one is called Cowboy Caviar. Cowboy Caviar. <laughs> yeah. So you guys have probably seen this. This is actually a restaurant out in Denver that's been serving these since 1893. Close to, what, 130 years ago. And they supposedly go through close to 500 pounds a week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Which is crazy. Okay, here. Let's do this justice uh -huh. and let's... Make yeah, a sushi so roll. Two, four, six, seven. One piece is missing, right? One what's testicle going, is missing. What's, what's going on this one? Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> we, we better find out. Okay, so today we are going to make it a Rocky Mountain oyster roll. So first thing I'm going to do this one is make your pango crust. I'm going to fry it up. Okay. Same as like a katsu. Then after that, I'm going to include it to the avocado and monster uh, cheese and roll it up with a little bit of sushi rice and nori. And then uh, fry it up again. Okay. Double fry rolls. Nice. Okay. And the sauce, uh, I have a sweet sweet eel sauce and the mayonnaise. And I'm going to use the wasabi mayonnaise to make the wasabi mayonnaise. Oh, nice. Give okay. a little. Because some people serve a horseradish with it, but now you got a little real mm. wasabi, which is even mm. better. Yeah. I do like that. And uh, I want to point out one thing real quick. A dollar ninety nine a pound. Mm. This whole thing was two dollars and thirty seven cents. Mm. Let me tell you what, hero. You feed a whole family, huh? For only two dollars and change. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it, Harold. What's the first step? First step, I'm gonna do uh, open up the package and uh, yeah, I'm to make up. We're able to take water out. Have you had this before, Hero? No. Oh, you haven't. So I know you're probably very excited to try this. So I know. I guess I'm gonna make a three. Three, okay. Three or that. Yeah, you know, there's two of us and there's seven testicles. I mean, right. one is a, we're gonna fight over the I don't know, extra I don't, one. I don't know where they go, another one, you know? Okay. So I gotta keep these things here now. By the way, if you don't recognize this background, we are in the cabin just outside Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Right. If you guys wanna see a tour of it, I'll put a link down below, show you what this cabin looks like. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, then actually this one before I fry, just in case I'm gonna put a little holes. Okay, um, sometimes this kind of stuff when you fry it up, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of water inside. Yeah. So. Okay, maybe two of them. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, pork cow, huh? Like just think about the pork cow here. Yeah. Okay, so put up first the flour. How do they feel? Uh, something I cannot say on the front of the camera. <laughs> I'm just asking for since an I, opinion. Since we decided to make this one, right? I couldn't sleep. You couldn't sleep? Yeah, I teach my son. Are you just full of excitement? That's why? I hopefully I could get a more energy, you know, after I do this one. I mean, they're real. Right. Look at this, sir. Like, really nice and soft. Softer than what you may think, okay? <laughs> All right, and okay, egg and panko. Okay. It's just same as like a treat, exactly oyster. <laughs> kind of hard to grab, huh? Yeah. Oyster, uh, slippery. Yeah. 
Nice. So right now, because of the distance, my toe explosion. So we're gonna flood it up outside of the house. Okay, let's okay, go here. Let's go outside. Yes. Take you all on a little field trip here with us. Yeah. A walking field trip. Let's go. Alright, so again, if you want to see what this cabin looks like inside, check out the description box. There's a link down below. Should be ready. What is ready, I guess. Now you want to fry them all the way done, right? Yeah, well done. Well done. You want to eat raw, same as a steak. Maybe like a sashimi style. Slice yeah, I'll make, it. I'll make it for you later. Okay. Yeah. Slice. Uh, I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like uh, it's a half shell oyster. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we're rolling up. Now this is going to be inside out or? Uh, I'm going to go outside. seaweed coming outside. Seaweed outside, okay. Yeah. Very traditional. And a non traditional ingredient for <laughs> sushi. It's kind of very fusion. Very fusion mm -hmm. way. Do they serve this in Japan here? Uh, this one? Yeah, in no. Japan they like to eat the foods that are uh, very aphrodisiac, you know? Uh, we have some kind of little strange stuff, I mean, uh, very different stuff, you know? Right. This is not, yeah, but, but you've never uh, you, seen this one in Japan. You don't see this one at the supermarket. Mm. Okay. Oh, nice and cheesy. All right, I like that. I'm gonna do cheese. Right? Yes, and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of avocado mm. also. A little creamy avocado to add to the creaminess of the Rocky Mountain Oyster. Yes. Oh boy. People are going to love this. Yes. And there should be two is in enough, I guess. This crust a little bit broken. After it's fried up, actually, yeah, it shrinks, the, the board is going to a little bit expand it. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's nice, kind of like a uh, nice house to crisp inside, so. And nice and crunchy. Yeah, it's a, it's a broken little bit. So maybe half of that. Reminds me, it looks like a large gizzard, chicken gizzard. Yeah, right. Yeah, it uh, has a little, it's not really soft. It's kind of has a texture a little uh -huh. bit. Yeah, exactly like a chicken gizzard. Okay, load it up. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And then keep this a little bit. Okay. Then wait until seaweed will get a little shrink. Okay. Now I'm gonna make a wasabi mayonnaise. A little bit okay, mm, very good. Yeah, let's go to fry it up to the this stuff. First, I'm gonna cut into half, just feed into the fryer. Okay,
take a look at that. All right. Good. Yep. That looks so good, Hero. Looks I didn't think it was going to turn out so nice. Huge roll. Looks very rich. You know? Yeah, it's going to be. Full of richness. With the cheese also included, too. So. It's got a natural. Okay. So, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Oyster Mountain. Look. All right, and how fitting, huh? In Tennessee, Rocky Mountain Oysters. You roll the Rocky Top Mountain Coaster. Mm. Let me tell you what. Can't wait to try this. Guys like this video at home, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell us if yeah. you'd eat this. Because I'll hey. tell you what, we sure will. See you soon. Thank hey, you so thank much. Thank you. All right, all right. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Here, son. Are you excited? <laughs> Never in your life have you had these before. Neither have I. So let's do it. Okay. Enjoy. Cheers. Mm. Let's see. How's it? It's a little bit chewy. Mm. It's a little like a texture like a gizzard. Like is it right? Mm. Oh, there's a one bite you need to go. <laughs> Come on, one bite, let's do yeah, it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. You have to eat. All right, it looks like a sausage. No pun intended. Mm. You know what? Uh, mm. Cameraman never eat, never eat this kind of stuff. <laughs> I know that. You have to comment on is he eat or no? <laughs> oh, man. he can't it's, eat. You know, it's actually very. He like a steak. He like a chicken. He like a salmon. But maybe beef tongue is a limit. Mm. No, even the sea cucumber. No, not into those crazy food. But this is actually pretty good, hero. I love the sauce. <laughs> How you know? <laughs> but sauce is good, right? <laughs> sauce mm. is really good. The wasabi uh, mayo is very good, and you're right, it's kind of chewy, you can see from no. the texture there. Like I, and I like a gizzard, yeah, you know, it's not yeah, soft like a liver, but it's a little bit texture. Mm -hmm. I think about, uh, uh, mm -hmm. I, don't, I didn't know the Rocky Mountain oyster exactly how they prepare. Yeah. I need to see, maybe marination or say maybe something cut in the half and the marination to make it more softer. So let me know in the comment. Right. So what, what is the best way to cook? The best way? I know they, there's a small membrane on the outside yeah. and you basically take out the membrane and you slice it. Like, so, and you slice yeah. it, put the flour and fry it, that's it. Maybe, maybe chop it up and yeah, chop it up. maybe better, right? Yeah, for next time. Okay, so mm. next time I'm going to do, I have another four bowls here. Four bowls. So stay tuned, maybe another recipe coming soon. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. See you guys soon.